microphone. <laughs> They're actually allowing you to play video games live on Twitch now. Oh, shit. So Instead of just the just chatting thing? Yeah, it's not just reaction videos. It's not just, um, I opened three billion dollars worth of Pokemon cards. Amazing. It's, um, you know, not just cringe compilation viewing parties. We're actually playing a video game. This one's called King's Quest. Quest for the Funny Crown. This is, yes, this is a remake. Have you watched the introduction? No. We need to, we need to get the full story here. You are Sir Graham bravest and most honorable knight in the troubled realm of Daventry. Greetings, Sir Graham the King is expecting you. There he is. This classic kick. The, the portraits are a lot creepier than I remember them being. I always liked how sincere a game King's Quest is. Like, it's a very basic fantasy story with all the tropes. I am at your service. And it's, <laughs> it's not asking to be anything more. I am an old, my old an old king. king. Wait, so if we if we do the thing, we get to become king, basically? I believe so. Great misfortunes have befallen Daventry since the loss years ago of three magic, magic treasures, Lisa. See now now you're getting the whole story, you know what we're doing. Will that help at all? To know what we're doing? Only then I think so. Yeah, here we go. Gotta get the mirror shield. The dagger one? Oh. Last is an enchanted chest that is forever filled with Imagine just losing this stuff. <laughs> <laughs> what do they mean when they lost it? Anyway, now you realize what we need to do. What What's at stake here? The magical treasures that, the, that they this? lost. How do we get these things? Well, that's where the game comes in. And makes no sense. Okay, so. Big, big important now, right? Yeah. Um, the big important thing about uh, King's Quest is that it's brutally difficult. It does not give a single... Yeah, it, it is just... I, w I would actually call it unfair. We want to play with the dead ends on, though, because they make the game funnier. Okay. <laughs> and if we need to, like, this game, if we have a walkthrough, is, like, beatable in probably about 30 minutes. So, if we get too, like, far gone, we can always just restart and beat the game. Gotta love this All right, here we go. Guy. So I, I guess I kind of want to show you guys the the first mistake that anyone makes when they're playing King's Quest, because it, it happens to everyone. I, I think it happened to Lisa twice somehow. <laughs> yeah. you, you exit this place and you just fall in the water and now you are dead right away. That's what King's Quest is all about when you get down to it. Is is oh that can kill me and then look at this smug fucker, like. <laughs> Ridiculous. Both monsters appreciate your good taste. Stupid and, and, and then the man. narrator gives a little pun about how you just died. So we have to game, <laughs> yeah. Um, so I've always really liked this game. I in high school, one of my first like programming things I ever did was make a like pretty oh, limited God. text adventure uh, adaptation of this game. It's just very, very wholesome game. This where we push you the know, rock. see why this game is fondly remembered. I, I don't know, Kami. Probably because people are dumb. Is this the rock that you can? Oh no, no! Oh god! <laughs> <You see? laughs> okay, it was the rock. The moving rock rolls downhill and right into you. A crushing defeat. <laughs> this is Lisa's <laughs> file from last night. Okay, let's save while we're out here, so we don't have to keep on. Uh, doing it that way. This game is just like real life. I know, right? Funny. Yes. <laughs> it's the most realistic rock I've ever seen. The rock physics are just incredible. So you have to get on the other side of the rock yeah. and push? Yeah. Or else it murders you? That's right. <laughs> Isn't that cool? With a small shove, you manage to push the rock a few feet. Revealing Wait, so if you push it from the other side, though, it's just like, murdering you. <laughs> yep. <laughs> How it goes. So you'll notice up in the in the corner here. Can you see it? You carefully lift it out. Up here? Being in the corner. Not to cut yeah, those yourself. are points. That, that's the number of points you get. Um, you don't need all of them to beat the game, but it is, uh, to get 100% completion, you do. 
So, again, I don't really remember how to beat this game or, like, what you're supposed to do. I only remember, like, the... The wolves are gonna get you. Suddenly, you hear the heavy footfalls of an ogre. He stomps into the clearing, spots you, and decides to crush the life out of you. Classic ogre move. Okay. I think you can kill the ogre with the knife. Yeah. Um, right click if you want to change your thing, by the way. This ogre is one tough character. Trying to bring harm to him would be a very bad mistake. He's got a very thick skin and a very short temper. What? I was pretty sure you could... Run. <laughs> Run! I was pretty sure you could kill him with the knife. I think he has to be distracted doing something else. This ogre sucks. This og Maybe I can talk to him. Talking to this ogre is like talking to a brick wall. An angry brick wall. What's that like? Oh god! <laughs> yeah. Run! Can you kill the ogre? Right? No! no! <laughs> okay. Oh lord. You were warned ogre and ogre again. Dumps! <laughs> little Apple II version, um, which I've also played. Like, this game's kind of a nightmare, but that one is worse. <laughs> because instead of all the, um, like, point-and-click elements... You have to type. <laughs> you have to type what you want to do. Alright. You can get up this tree somehow. Uh, use your hand. You have to use your hand to get yep. on the tree? Finding plenty of footholds in the coarse bark of the tree, you easily clamber up the trunk to the branches above. And then the witch kills you! <laughs> I don't think the witch is up here. Something else that's gonna kill you? I think this is just an example of a place where you can fall. Why can you fall in this game? The game was not meant <laughs> to be enjoyed. Golden egg. You carefully lift the golden egg out of the nest. Egg. Got it. So I'm just doing the stuff I remember. I remember the golden egg. And you die? Oh, I'm surprised I didn't die. Alright, very good. This is Dead End's version, right? Yeah, this is the Dead End's version. Wolf or sorcerer. Without warning, a wolf darts out of the bushes and runs I've... straight for you. I knew Look it. Out. Don't let him catch you. Where, where's the wolf? Ah! Uh... <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> what? <laughs> Why didn't he go? <laughs> that happened to me like food. a lot of times. These wolves suck. So that's the scary wolf direction. <laughs> I think the wolves can appear on multiple screens, though. What? That can happen? That guy looked familiar, but he seems a little lost out here in Dad. <laughs> what? That can happen? The only response. This is what I remember. I don't remember that guy showing up. I think that was Le Leisure Suit Larry. Ooh. Yeah, I don't know either, Lisa. That's <laughs> it's another sure point and click game. Like, the wizard came out of nowhere and started chasing me. It's very easy to get stuck on the edge of the uh, screen. Maybe it was here. It looked... <laughs> Steve Buscemi. <laughs> it looked pretty similar. Ah uh, no! <laughs> Is this part apparently scarred Lisa as a child? I don't like this part. There is no answer from inside the house. Get in there. Okay. And this is like my favorite part of the game, actually. Oh, wait, we need this, I'm pretty sure. You grab the note from the table. The distance, you hear a high, squeaky voice. I can smell someone tasty. I don't like this part. Just hide in the corner here. No. <laughs> oh, I'm going to get my cauldron ready to cook someone for dinner. Yum. After I get the cauldron, please don't turn around right now. <laughs> this would be very awkward. With a mighty 
you shove, you courageously push the wicked witch into the pot. Her wild screams are suddenly cut off as she melts away into the oily green slime. Congratulations! <laughs> you, you killed me! me. <laughs> Good. Oh, jeez. You take the cheese from the cabinet. You always gotta get the cheese. At least that part's over with. <laughs> Are those the children? Are those children that have been turned into like? Oh yeah, because when you die to the witch, you um, become a you become a graham cracker, and there's a pun about that, <laughs> and and you get set out there with all the other ones. Okay, I'm pretty sure there's something you can do here. Yeah. After you are in the old bucket, your weight causes it to slowly descend. Did he just die down there? You should stay right now, actually, because you did kill the witch. Yeah, that's a good point. Let's uh, create a new file. Just add, just add a two to the end. Classic move. Oh neat. You are too far away. Do you think this is time sensitive? Probably. This isn't the chest you're looking for. Okay. <laughs> Your princess is in another castle. Hopefully you don't like die. Yeah, I do that. Get up here. Do you think Sir Get Graham out. is smart enough for that? <laughs> Sir Graham has some problems understanding <laughs> very basic things. There we go. You gotta use your hands, Sir Graham. Oh, there's the mirror. Cursing the cursor with twice the curse? <laughs> yeah, we're doing all sorts of curses. Let me... I don't think it probably wants me to speak to the dragon, right? <laughs> Try it. Think again. When this dragon talks, things have a tendency to catch fire. Okay, well, um... <laughs> this is a bit awkward. Um, Think again. The ferocious, fire-breathing dragon is protecting the magic mirror. Eat the cheese at it. Yeah, what do we have in our in our, our bag? If you just go over there and try to... <laughs> You'll have to do something about... Okay, let's try and stab the dragon. Okay, I don't want to murder the dragon, though. With unerring aim, the dagger spins through the air and pierces the soft, unprotected skin under the dragon's throat. The beast convulses for a moment, then crashes lifeless to the hard cavern floor. This game is too sh too sad. You take the magic mirror. Congratulations. We did we it. The magic mirror, but at what cost? <laughs> Dragon lies motionless on the rocky floor of the cavern. Oh man, that guy was living his whole life just fine. <laughs> we walk in there. Stoop. Dead. All right, cool. Well, we got the magic mirror. What does it say about that? This is the magic mirror. One of the three. What does the magic mirror do? Cavalry. Does it reflect well, the cursor with twice the curse? <laughs> no. Um, I think it's, it said that it can tell the future or something in the opening. It's the goat! The goat is here. Remember the, the, the carrot? You need the carrot patch. Yeah. I don't, I don't remember where the carrot patch is. It's but... um, over, over, see the fruit trees, over like two more and then down. You pluck a plump <laughs> orange carrot from the ground. Walk closer to the gate. Close it behind you after you walk in. The goat's always doing funny things, so you gotta watch out. Very clever. You tempt the goat with a carrot, and he begins also go to slowly or else um, it might leave you. Yeah. Oh, here we go. So this is a, a famous part. The, no, the goat's about to roof this guy. <laughs> and then walk away. What's with that animation? I don't know. It's memorable. <laughs> 
As you start to cross the bridge, a huge hulking troll stomps into view and blocks your way. It is a well-known fact like in Mario Pants. hate trolls intensely. You right. decide to let the goat take care of this wretched, nasty troll. And we didn't even get a chance to talk with him. The goat lowers wait. his head and runs straight for wait. the troll. Wait, 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 wait. Uh oh. That's the last you'll see of that troll. Bye, goat. <laughs> you want me to look up this guy's name? Well, one second. Let me see if there's like something I can figure out about him first. Like if there's a way to like logically solve this. Welcome, Sir Graham. I've been expecting you. I have something that will be of great use to you. But first, Sir Graham, you must answer this riddle. I'll give you three guesses. So your first thing came Rumpelstiltskin, right? Because of the hay and, and the... the gold, yeah. But then you try it backwards because of the note you find, right? Yeah. But it's not that either. Close. Do you have any guesses of how to solve it? I know I told you last night. Yeah, but, but it was like a really long name that made no sense. If I recall correctly. Mm -hmm. Um, I think it's gnome. <laughs> Rump Trump Silky Skin. I do not you, think that's you correct. Know it could how to be solve correct. It, Mike? How do you solve it? So you know how like there's ciphers, right? Where it's like the the letters and the... yeah. So what you have to do is take the backwards alphabet. Mm. And like you take that and then you put the R, you see where the R would be. And like, you know that? That's how you do it. <laughs> oh. Okay. So get a piece of paper. You gotta solve this cipher live on the internet. The name I came up with I think it's pronounced if can hugarag humprum. This does not sound like a real name, so I'm a bit concerned. <laughs> that was wrong. Where in the world did you get that idea? You wanna look it up? <laughs> Is this name a slur? I, I really hope not. <laughs> what did I do wrong? Oh boy. <laughs> One second, we're this is a new kind of Twitch stream. <laughs> you there we go. still haven't guessed my name. Ready to take another shot at us, Mr. Elfman. Use his name, Lisa. He has a name. <laughs> You're better at double checking things than I am, so. No, I trust you. Oh gosh. Well, that's right. Oh. Yay! That's right. Outstanding. I didn't think Magic beans. <laughs> You are holding a handful of small like jelly beans. beans. You have a snack on your quest, Sir Graham. What's, What's that? This? What's this? You pick up the bowl. Water. Go to the waterfall. That's not the bowl is enchanted. You need only say the magic word to fill it. Bowl to your astonishment, oh. something begins to bubble up from the bottom of the bowl. Within moments, the bowl is filled with a hot, savory stew. Oh. The woodcutter speaks to you, his voice broken with sorrow. We would welcome you to our home, Sir Knight, but we've had no food for so long. My beautiful wife cannot even rise. Too bad. <laughs> I fear she may die. Hungry. <laughs> Give them the soup. Uh, I suppose so. Just start eating it in front of them. Overwhelmed with joy. Take my fiddle as a small token of our thanks. Well, we've explored a lot of the map now. What if you just randomly use the beans? Like here. See, it's fertile soil because all the wildflowers. Does that make sense? I think in a way it does. But... Mm -hmm. Just overwrite the file. Okay. <laughs> um, I mean, I guess you could try. 
You plant the magical beans in the first. Hey! Look at me! Being big and smart. Happens. That's pretty impressive, Lisa. You have the mind of a, of a Sierra employee, I guess. <laughs> Is that a good thing or a bad thing? It's a thing. <laughs> now we gotta go to the... Giant house? The giant land, yeah. Is that gonna kill us? Probably. You wanna save? Well, we just saved before the beans. Okay. I hate this. <laughs> I like how the dragon gets like, like this, like this gruesome <laughs> murder death, and you you just fall like that. Looks like you had a bad fall this spring. <gasps> but um, that one barely makes any sense. <laughs> Talk about, talk talk about a uh, um cl climbing a big uh, old beanstalk <laughs> with your hands. Uh. Next time I'll get him. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> this is gonna be the most frustrating part of the game. Looks like you had a bad fall this spring. Shut up. <laughs> Don't you love the narrator? Thank you, Famicom Pony. I, my joke was based on the fact that there's a beanstalk and you use your hands to climb it. You would say this whole climbing thing is pretty beans, right? <sighs> Everyone just wants to one-up me and my good joke about <laughs> climbing with hands. <laughs> People just don't appreciate good observational humor anymore. And it has to do with the SJWs. They just won't let me say what I want to anymore. Comedy is dead. Because no one laughed at my joke. When did Vine Sauce get here? <laughs> Vinny, is that you? <laughs> Why? Oh, this game! Next time, keep your feet on the ground and your head out of the clouds. So stupid. <laughs> <sighs> this is so stupid. I should have saved when I got up there. Ah, uh, yes, Looks go ahead. Like you had a bad fall this spring. Lisa thinks she can do a bit better a, a better job of climbing. <laughs> Don't forget to save. <laughs> I'm a little late on that one, Bailey. <laughs> Looks like you had a bad fall <laughs> this spring. Shut up. What? I was still on the... Looks like you had a bad fall this spring. Lisa, it looks like you had a bad fall this spring. <laughs> gonna... <laughs> That's a rare secret emote. No one has access to that one but me. Oh. Yep. Because it's like a tier three emote, right? Yeah. Looks like you had a bad fall this By spending spring. a lot of money. Yeah. <laughs> what the heck? Explain that. Looks like you see, my joke about climbing with hands is actually getting better over time. <laughs> Best thing you can do. Best thing you can do, Mike. Is to just click very, Looks like, you had a like small fall. distances Here ahead of you. Okay. <laughs> That's enough of that. You're gonna do it with your non-dominant hand? Yeah. I'm sorry, but your child has been diagnosed with gamer. Two gamer. Um, we, we're good now. So these clouds you can walk on because they're nice, but there's... Yeah, oh, let me 
No, stop. You please. didn't save. I did save. You did save? Yeah. Wait, that's good. Do I look like some kind of fool to you, Lisa? There's a little tiny thing there that you can't walk on. It's like a Scooby-Doo background. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to describe everything this way from now on. Why are the trees rainbows? We're in Cloud Kingdom. Yoshi! Oh god, please, please stop. Please just get out of here. What does he want? Probably to kill us. Makes sense. There is nothing. What's this? You reach into the hole. Uh -huh. Leather slingshot. Gotta nice. look at the very fine details. Yeah. Use it. You need some kind of small rock to use. Run, this. run, run, run! run. <laughs> the giant did a smashing job of defeating you. <laughs> Are you gonna fall I'm again? so sad. <laughs> he, he really couldn't find any rock nearby. If only there was a small rock somewhere in this world. Unfortunately, there just isn't any. Pony, why? You made this game. Oh, there! There! That could be it! <sighs> Look at this idiot. He doesn't know what's coming for him. The giant is lying dead. <laughs> Beside him is a sturdy chest. <laughs> He's just dead! You killed him! It's easy to take the magic chest from a dead giant. <laughs> I'm always saying that. <laughs> oh my God. It's like I've always said, it's easy to take a magic chest from a dead giant. What's left? The shield. Where's the shield? Oh, wait, the leprechauns. Yeah, I don't... Is that the one where I need to take the bird? Yes. Right? This thing. There. Oh, nice. <laughs> oh, that's strange. You, you shouldn't drop that, Sir Greg. So now we wait. Does it come back? Yes. Okay. Don't be afraid. Just walk over and step in. No. This, this guy sucks. <laughs> the platforming in this game is awesome. Music. Dead. You killed it. The grass dies off suddenly. Stop. <gasps> There's not. Okay, just time it right. Oh, I, I have to time it right? Yeah. Oh, interesting. You check to make sure these rock. <laughs> Right now, I feel bad. <laughs> <laughs> what the heck? You are dead. Walk on the rock. Don't. Uh, uh, maybe I need to be up more. Like right by the entrance of the cave, I think. Oh, really? Not bad either. Okay, that's too far. Right here, maybe? <sighs> okay. Who makes these games? People who hate you, Mike. I fear for your sanity. game right i don't remember this bird at all i'm gonna be completely honest
with a mighty yes. Yes. Darn it! Predict. I don't know how this works. This guy probably even wants cheese. cheese. The rat grins crookedly. That's fine, mister. Just walk a little closer. <clears throat> Why does he sound like that? Why do they always sound like that? Cheese, eh? Well, yeah, now that you mention it, I guess I am kind of hungry. The rat drools Look, at the sight of the cheese and snatches it from your hand. Rat. You might want to rat. count your fingers. Where the rat? Look, Mike. It's blocked on mine for some reason. We have a ponies. He's the rat thing. It's censored on Lisa's phone? Why? I don't know. Look, I can hear. I can hear. Sham sounds like a bad situation. Perhaps you should do something. What am I supposed to do? Oh. Leprechauns love music. Nothing. Wonderful job. Leprechauns find fiddle music irresistible. <laughs> the moment they hear the music, they begin dancing a frenzied jig. Look at him go. Finally, swept away by the snappy music, the leprechaun guards zap right out of the room. Oh, they were killed by it. Interesting. No, they were just dapped right out of the room. That's a pretty funny leprechaun moment. Overhearing the fiddle music you played in the hallway, the leprechauns have begun to dance. As they do, they pop away in a fit of merrymaking. They pop away? I don't know. We're roofing the music. Wait. Look at this upside down guy. Is he supposed to be like that? <laughs> I wonder. Look at him go. <laughs> it's great. Just grab the shield and run. We've done it. You take the magic shield. Congratulations. Does this mean we go back to the castle? You take the Leprechaun King's jeweled scepter. All right. There we did it. We got all of the treasures. We can beat the game. You can faintly hear a commotion in the king's chamber to the west. Here they are. There is nothing to be done. <laughs> oh, our king's melancholy is too much for us heart to bear. If only Sir Graham had returned with the three lost treasures Wait, of death. Wait, what if you like get it done really, really quickly? <sighs> So Graham. Did he buy new treasures? Shut up. Your height should be at your service. Did did you succeed in your quest? I did, Your Majesty. Here, as you commanded. We only had to cheat like twice. The magic mirror. What did we cheat on? The name? Well we we actually and did the, the cipher shield. though. Well yeah. Oh the pebbles, yeah. Those were going to be impossible chest. either way. Mm. You're now king, sir. <gasps> I'm afraid it is a little too late for me. But you have done superbly, my knight. As I promised, the crown is yours. I know you will serve this kingdom well. So we're just king now? The king is dead. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> we we <laughs> coronated right in front of the, <laughs> the dead body of the beloved former king. <laughs> Hooray! The king is dead! This ended Sir Graham's quest for the lost treasures of Daventry. Despite the loss of their beloved King Edward, the people of Daventry grew happy and prosperous for years to come. And whenever Gaston, he yeah, he does look like Gaston. Mirror, he saw visions of adventures yet to come for him, for his children, and for Daventry, the land he loved so much. <laughs> Old Hoshi's voice.
We did it! That was the King's Quest. We went on a King's Quest. And we, uh... We did it.